We're back in Popsville, and Grandpa Keith and his neighbor Martin are in their usual spot, working on an old van. Ah, uh, my poor knees. These old joints need some help. Martin, do you think you could get me some more of that transformer oil from your work? Martin is puzzled as to why Grandpa Keith would need transformer oil. Keith, are you crazy? You should not put transformer oil on your body. It can be highly toxic to your health. Oh, nonsense. Back in the day, we used this for joint pain all the time. After I was finished in the garage, I would soak my joints with transformer oil for the pain. It's a tried and true remedy. It really wasn't. Well, you're not using it now. Listen, Keisha, the HSE officer at work, warned us that oftentimes there can be a chemical called PCBs in these oils and they're highly toxic to us with prolonged use. Now, you might be wondering what are PCBs? Polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs, is a group of man-made organic chemicals that were used in industrial and commercial applications due to its chemical properties until the manufacturing of PCBs were banned in the late 70s and 80s when researchers discovered links to long-term health problems like cancer and negative effects on the immune, reproductive and nervous systems. Although there was a ban on the manufacture of PCBs, some countries still had older electronics or transformers that contained PCBs in use or in storage. Pay attention, Keith. PCBs have a great negative impact, so you should avoid direct contact with them as much as possible. If you work in the electrical and power generating sector, practice proper storage, handling and safeguarding of PCB oils to avoid environmental and human contamination and wear personal protective equipment. Avoid the burning of insulated copper cables or wires as this can lead to direct inhalation of poisonous emissions. Now that we know the ABCs of PCBs, there is a global effort to identify, safeguard and dispose of PCB contaminated oils and equipment. The Stockholm Convention was designed to protect against persistent organic pollutants and aims to get rid of PCBs by 2028. Some Caribbean nations have already begun the movement towards a PCB-free Caribbean. So far, in collaboration with BCRC Caribbean, close to 54 metric tons of equipment and oil contaminated by PCBs have been transported to Europe for environmentally sound disposal. Now, let's get back to the garage. And that's why I'm not bringing home any transformer oils. Wow, Martin. Good thing you're here. I've been putting myself in danger. Don't worry about it. We neighbors have to look out for each other. For more information, visit the Stop the Pops website and identify, learn, and act. 